Hello, my name is John Lehman, and I'm one of Unidata's software engineers, as well as one of the instructors for Unidata's Python training workshops. I want to show you how to go ahead and get Conda installed and the environment that we'll be using for the workshop, especially when we're somewhere where guest Wi-Fi might be slow. It's really important that this step happens before the workshop. Otherwise, it could take hours to go ahead and get everything downloaded, and we would be delayed in getting going. You can find a text version of the materials I'll be going over on the workshop website, which will be linked in the video description. There will be two separate videos, one for Mac and Linux machines, and one for Windows machines. In this video, I'm going to cover Windows installation of Miniconda and the workshop environment. The installation instructions on the workshop website have all of this information in text form as well as some links. But the first thing we're going to do is follow this link and head to conda.io slash miniconda.html. From here, we're going to download the installer. Make sure that you're using the Python 3.7 installer as Python 2.7 has been end of life, so we'll be using three in this workshop. And make sure you're using the 64-bit. If you have a 32-bit Windows machine, it will not work for this workshop, as a lot of Python packages are no longer being built for 32-bit architectures. So make sure you have a 64-bit machine and go ahead and download the installer. In this case, I am going to save the installer as, and I will just save it to my downloads folder. Okay, once your download has completed, you can navigate to your downloads folder and go ahead and run the executable installer. So we get the installer pop-up here. We can just click next. Make sure that you agree to the software license. Click I agree. And then install on your machine. I recommend saying install for just me. This doesn't require administrator privileges on the machine and doesn't affect any other accounts that might be on the machine. And click next. The default path is going to be users, then whatever your username is, miniconda3. That is a fine default. So go ahead and click next. And then I do not recommend checking either of the advanced options. Just leave those as they are and click install. This step will probably take a couple of minutes. Once the installation has completed, go ahead and click next. And you can uncheck these boxes. You don't need to learn more about Anaconda Cloud or how to get started. That'll uh, just prevent some pop-ups and click finish. Now, if you go to your start menu, you'll notice that you have a new program called Anaconda Prompt. This is how you will be mainly interacting with Anaconda. So go ahead and open that up. We're almost done, but we need to go ahead and make the environment we'll be using for the workshop. This involves downloading a lot of packages, and when we're on a guest Wi-Fi network, that can take a significant amount of time. So go ahead and head back over to the workshop website on the installation instructions, and scroll down to the setting up the environment section. Down here in step two, you'll see a right click and save this link. This is going to download the environment.yml file, which describes the packages that we'll require for the workshop. So go ahead and right click and save target as. Saving it in your downloads is just fine. Environment.yml. So click save. And as soon as it's done, open your Anaconda prompt. You can see that we're in the home directory of our user and I saved to downloads, so I need to change to where my downloads directory is. So CD for change directory, and then downloads. If I use the dir command to see what's in here, you'll see the installer and our environment file right there. Now we just need to run the command conda env create. This is conda environment create. So it's automatically going to look for an environment.yml file and go ahead and install all the packages specified there. So press return and let this run, which might take several minutes on your machine.
Okay, so once that has finished, it tells you exactly what we need to do here. To activate the environment, type conda activate unidata. To deactivate, type conda deactivate. I recommend go ahead and typing conda activate unidata just to make sure this works. And now you see that we are all set. It returned to a prompt, and now we have unidata out in front of the prompt indicating that that's the active environment. You should be all set up and we'll see you at the workshop.